Hey everyone, and thanks for joining me for another Voxel Engine update video. Don't you hate it when you're playing a Voxel game, and then you break the base of a tree, and the tree does nothing but float in midair? Well, not anymore. I have implemented a breadth-first search that will calculate disconnected parts, and will allow blocks to fall whenever they are connect disconnected from the rest of the world. If the game uh, detects that it is a tree, it will fall to the right, um, and if it's not a tree, it'll just kind of fall normally. I'll display that right now. This will work for pretty much any object, no matter what the size. It detects that it's not connected to the ground, and then it turns all the blocks into physics objects, which will fall down and then reconnect with the world. I can use this to implement falling sand and all sorts of things. Um, the only downside is that it's a lot easier to grief now, so I'll make sure to add lots of griefer protection whenever there is a multiplayer version of the game. Built-in grief protection will include things like the ability to undo the actions of other players by admins, the ability to protect chunks from players, uh, set protections um, where only a certain group of people can access a chunk and things like that. Uh, there'll be plenty of ways to, you know, blacklist people and all sorts of stuff. So griefer protection should kind of make up for um, the, the problems with this. Now you'll also notice that this tree isn't falling, that's because it is up here connected just barely by the leaves. That's another downside to this. If you want to make all of the connected parts fall, you have to make sure you chop down everything, and then it'll all fall. I'll go ahead and show you like a really massive tree falling, and I'll pause it mid... Uh, I'll pause it before it falls so you can see. Um, Alright, so first you'll notice it lit up, that's because light filled in the place where the tree used to be, this is actually not, these these blocks are not solid, they're just physics blocks. So they're pretty much disconnected from the grid, and as they fall, once they hit the ground, they will reconnect to the grid if they are useful blocks, but if they are something like leaves, they will just bust into little leaf particles when they hit the ground. Um, if they fall on other trees, they will break the leaves of that tree, and if they fall on things like, you know, plants and grasses, they will also break those. Uh, when I have glass, they'll fall through glass, all sorts of cool stuff like that. Um, I really like the way this works because uh, unlike Terraria, uh, that also has kind of a tree falling system, you don't just get all the minerals immediately, and um, but you still get the tree falling, and you can just kind of lumberjack away and uh, break down the tree, and this also brings me to <laughs> something you probably noticed. All the particles are now round, and you can pick them up. They go into your inventory. I think round particles look a lot better than non-round particles, just because they're, it's just more pleasing to the eye, I guess. It's more gamey. Um, and if you look closely, you'll see, for instance, I'm breaking these ore blocks, and they're not just dropping ore particles. They're dropping ore particles and stone particles. Uh, that's another thing with my system. Blocks can drop multiple particles, um, multiple different kinds of particles, and that's the reason I'm doing this particle system, so that you can have blocks drop lots of different things instead of just dropping one unit of a block, and you'll be able to craft lots of things out of one block. For instance, out of one wood block, I could take these particles and craft maybe several sticks or, or maybe some ladders or, you know, hilts for a bunch of weapons or, you know, all sorts of things, and there will be ways to extract logs so you don't just create planks. Um, but right now the only way is to just co collect the particles. They go into your inventory under the materials tab. You'll see I have coal, copper, dirt, stone, wood. Uh, you can equip them, but you can't place them right now. They don't they don't really do anything but sit in your inventory. Um, you can see that the inventory has been changed. Uh, it's a little more pretty, but it still kind of sucks. I'm not an artist, but I did my best. Um, uh, you'll see there's a crafting tab. You can't do anything with it yet. Um, and over here, this is going to show uh, what the person is wearing, it's going to let you drag items over and equip them and things like that. And then uh, down here I might show the information about the currently selected block, things like that. Um, that's pretty much what I want to show you today. I can't really think if there's anything else. Uh, stay tuned guys, i got lots of other cool updates coming. Um, Thanks for your support. Be sure to like and subscribe. I really appreciate all the comments you guys have been giving me. Um, the idea for trees falling sideways um, came from Navy Rain. I'll be sure to link uh, him in the description. He's got a channel, and he's probably going to be doing some Let's Plays of this later on. 
Um, so give him a shout out. And uh, yeah, I mean, I like the new system. It's kind of like a stress relief. Uh, you can see there's a few bugs with particles. They don't always um, get the correct light. Uh, also, I yeah, I did fix the lighting bug uh, in the previous episode where particles didn't get subjected to voxel light. It was just a very simple, um, very simple name variable problem that's been fixed. Anyways, uh, stay tuned, guys. Uh, peace out.